Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel. Okay, we're nearly at the end, day 30. Favourite quote. So, I don't technically have a favourite quote for today's video because my journal cover arrived. So that's the packaging if you're out and about looking for um, this particular item. So that's a company, it's an American company that um, carries different artists in their range, Tim Holtz being one of them. So it's a Delusions and um, yeah, it's basically a blank canvas Midori style cover. Okay, so you can slide in and then you've got your enclosure. So what the plan is today is using some PVA glue I've um, already cut the pieces of rice paper. It was a Stamperia rice paper that matches the, um, um, what do you call it? The scrapbook paper that I've been using. Oh, I'm nearly out of glue. Oh no, we should have enough. <clears throat> so yeah, it um, perfectly matches. Now the plan is that I've got some pieces to go around the perimeter of the cover, little strips, because I want to put my stitchery there. And then I've cut a piece for the back. So I need to turn it over. I wonder if that comes off. I don't think it does. And I'm going to, I'm going to look at just bending that a little bit. <clears throat> okay. And using one of these makeup spreading uh, brushes. I think they use them to put masks on your face to spread the um, compound onto your skin and it's like a silicone little brush. You can, so you can buy them at those um, businesses that sell cosmetics and um, I think you get three or four in the pack. This was another one that was in a pack. They were pretty inexpensive <clears throat> and um, they're really good because you're not ruining a paintbrush. I better check my sizing. Yeah. So I pretty much went to very close to the edge. So I've cut it to size. <clears throat> that just helps with um, dealing with it when you're sort of putting it into position. You can by all means go to the very edge with your paper and, um, you know, remove the excess. But... <clears throat> I had to be mindful of the print on the piece and I wanted to save bits and pieces for um, using in the journal. So I sort of strategically cut exactly out what I needed. That way I didn't waste any. So it's all cut to size. So I'm just putting a thin layer of this PVA glue onto the back here, spreading evenly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave it at halfway and I'm actually going to <clears throat> position this just when I'm, I don't know if I should be putting it, I sort of feel like it needs to go that way. So I'm just placing that down, being mindful that I've got a an edge here, a um, spine that can grow with me. So I need to <clears throat> just make sure that I'm not creeping in on all of those little ridges there because then I'm putting pressure on my paper and it might have to mold over it. So I'm staying away from all of that spine. Okay, so that's gripped really well. So now I know everything's lined up, I can just peel that back a little bit and carry on. <clears throat> now once I got this onto my cover, I will get some of this PVA glue and I'll just add a little bit of water to it, just to make it a little bit um, more runny. And I will come back over the top of this with a light coat and it's like just a protective sealant. The actual adhering of it is completed because we're doing this process nice and thick and um, <clears throat> it will more than anything hold it. 
I probably, in hindsight, should have painted some white acrylic paint over that logo so that I don't see it through the rice paper. So I'm a bit disappointed, but anyway, it doesn't matter. In years to come, I might want to buy some more and not remember where I got it from. And that might give me a bit of a hint or at least track down some. Now, there's some girls in Australia that have been hunting for some of these and they're really struggling to find them. So we suspect they may not be in production anymore or in Australia, they're just having trouble getting them. So I started sort of thinking about what else we could do because I have a feeling I'm going to need a second one. And I was looking at the ones I own that are printed. And um, there's one there that I just haven't used. It's sort of excess to requirements, I think. So if this trip to Hong Kong happens in a couple years time, um, I would probably want to take another cover with me, even if I don't decorate it until I get back. At least if I find, say, uh, a napkin or something on my travels or some paper, I've got a, a surface that I can attach it to when I get home and I can then use it to carry my bits and bobs in while I'm on holidays. So my theory is, and I can't see why it wouldn't work, is um, using white acrylic paint. I paint over the cover that is there and um, then I can you know, apply a new cover. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. So if any of those um, Aussie girls are listening and have struggled to find it, I know I was chatting to a few of them. I'm thinking about getting some of the printed ones and yeah, just cover, cover them up with um, some um, acrylic paint, white acrylic paint, and then uh, do what I want to the cover. I think that's, you know, a pretty good solution for us, especially if they've decided not to make these anymore. They may just be, you know, out of production because the world's gone crazy. So what the plan is here is I'm going to just do the border. So I get the hint of the, um, a hint of the artwork and then I can place a stitchery on top of it. So at the moment I have a stitchery, it's the dragonflies, but I don't know, I might not commit to that yet. Maybe I'll make something in my travels. <clears throat> so I just want to prepare the cover for something to go there, which will definitely be the case. So I just want to attach glue to that perimeter just to hold that in now to get rid of the white once this is dried I will then come back with um, some antique photo some distressed ink you could probably use oxides if you had some just to you know make it look a little bit more blended and I'm going to use probably vintage photo it's just seems to be the colour. When I first got into all this, I bought tea dye because I was really nervous about how much brown it would put around. And in no time, I jumped up to Vintage Photo, which is a much darker, much darker colour. And I just haven't looked back. I, I just don't pick up uh, tea dye at all. I just really like the strong tones that Vintage Photo Give. It's more of these browns in here where I sort of felt like um, tea dye. I'd do it and I'd look like I hadn't done it. <clears throat> okay. So if paper doesn't quite make it to ends, um, it's, it's really simple just to use some ink to disguise the fact and You'll never, never know that it didn't quite make the top. Now, if I was working with tissue, it'd be pretty easy to patch areas that didn't have, didn't have it. But um, I'm sort of trying to use what I can here. 
So I'm hoping that will go there. So I'm pretty much just framing. <clears throat> I'll just turn that. I'm going to sneeze, excuse me. <coughs> oh, goodness. That was a cough, not a sneeze. Okay, so down this side. But I can't see why not if you decided never to go to Japan, if I decide never, never get to go, I, I could just collage straight over the top of this and turn it into something else. <clears throat> Another idea, let's let's assume that these are just not available anymore, is I know you can buy, well you can in Australia, sheets of um, canvas that you can run through a printer. Um, I could not see why you could not stitch two of them together back to back and then um, you would have a nice canvas style cover that you could paint and do this treatment to. I know my friend put some canvas in a journal she made for a young girl who loved drawing <coughs> and she got that printable canvas. She may have even got it from Spotlight. I am just don't, just don't remember now. Um, she made canvas pages so she just cut a piece like this size and put it straight into the journal so that the young girl could pick up pencils, pens, whatever, paints, and uh, actually have like a canvas to work on. And it was really cool. Come up really well. Okay. I won't fiddle too much because you come back with a thinner layer. If I muck around too much, I'll end up potentially tearing the paper. Rice paper is pretty forgiving. Like, it's tough. It's hard to tear at the best of times. You sort of need scissors for this stuff. <clears throat> Where tissue paper or tissues, napkins, is a lot more forgiving. So I just need to apply it, put down my pieces and then let it dry. Then I'll come back with some watered down PVA glue or white glue they call it in some countries and that will give it a protective coating as well. And that way I can check then if I've got all of it um, adhered down. There might be some edges here that just aren't as <clears throat> adhered as they should be. Just going to trim that a little bit. Okay, so that is it. So you can see how simple it is. It's just a case of letting that dry. And that is going to be my cover. I love it. So I'll probably, I've just put some glue on a, a lid here. I'll probably just squirt some water into that, reactivate it a little bit, mush it around, and then I'll come back and just make sure I've got all of these edges down and um, it's stuck. And then I'll come along when it's completely dry with my inker and just ink it all up and it's ready to go. So where's my stitch panel? Let's have a little a little look. Got a lovely little pile of goodies behind me of all our, our work. Where is that little... <clears throat> oh, I can't see it. Oh, here's, here's the nature one. Where is it? So that's the nature one. So the dragonfly is the one I really want. So here it is. Here it is. <clears throat> right at the bottom. There we go. So that will sit there. And I guess the quote for the day, Earth laughs in flowers. There we go. We found our quote. I thought something might come along. All right, so like I said, I'll let that dry. I'm then going to run my inker. I sort of, you can see how you can add colour. <clears throat> so I'll need to work on that with more ink, but that'll give you a bit of an idea. So that's it. 
I will leave you in peace. Have a lovely day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.